It was a glorious summer day on the island of Sodor. Toby was collecting milk from the dairy. James was pulling passengers to Brendam docks. And Thomas was taking some workmen to work. They were building a new station. Every day, Thomas had to take the workmen there and bring them home again. I can't wait for the grand opening, he told Annie and Clarabelle excitedly. There's going to be flags and a big band. On the way to the new station, there was a difficult bend in the track. Thomas didn't like it at all. He was worried about the bend. But his good friends, Annie and Clarabelle, were there to help him. Slow down, they sang out. Slow down and puff with care. So Thomas did slow down, and he puffed with care. Thank you, Thomas puffed to Annie and Clarabelle. I couldn't have done it without you. Thomas arrived safely at the station. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him. Today, Annie and Clarabelle are to go for their refit, he told Thomas. You must take them to the workshop straight away. But how will I take the workmen home, asked Thomas. You can use ordinary coaches instead, said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, sir, said Thomas, and he puffed away to the workshop. Thomas said goodbye to Annie and Clarabelle. He was sad. I don't know how I'll manage the difficult bend without you, he told his friends. The next day, Thomas puffed to the coach yard. He was still thinking about the difficult bend. Thomas went too fast and gave the coaches a mighty biff. The coaches rolled along the line and bumped into James. Watch what you're doing, James snorted. Sorry, Thomas puffed. Thomas was missing Annie and Clarabelle. He would never have biffed into them. Soon Thomas was on his way to pick up the workers at the new station. Difficult bend, difficult bend, he puffed nervously. The difficult bend came nearer and nearer. Thomas was supposed to slow down, but he wanted to get past the bend quickly. So Thomas went faster and faster. The coaches rattled and shook. Soon be over, soon be over, Thomas said to himself. And soon it was. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Thomas felt sadder than ever. Harvey arrived to help clear up the mess. Harvey didn't like seeing Thomas so unhappy. I can't go around the difficult bend, Thomas wished sadly. I'm not a useful engine without Annie and Clarabelle. You are a really useful engine, said Harvey, and a jolly good friend. And he puffed away. Thomas trundled slowly back to Tidmouth Sheds. He was very sad. He wanted to be back with Annie and Clarabelle. Suddenly, Thomas saw a line of troublesome trucks rushing towards him. They had come uncoupled from Edward. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. The troublesome trucks are heading for the new station, and they're going too fast. I must warn the station master. So he raced after them. The troublesome trucks clattered along the track. Thomas was determined to save the new station. So he dashed after the runaway trucks. Thomas went faster and faster. He raced past the troublesome trucks. But he was nearly at the difficult bend.
Thomas wanted to go fast, but he knew he couldn't. Slow down, said Thomas to himself. Slow down and puff with care. Thomas applied his brakes. He slowed down and puffed very carefully. He made it all around the difficult bend all by himself. I've done it, he tooted. But so did the runaway trucks. Thomas puffed as fast as he could. And he raced into the station just in time. Runaway trucks are coming, he cried. You must change the points. The signalman quickly changed the points. The troublesome trucks hurtled into a siding. They biffed and bashed the buffers. But the station was safe. The next day, Thomas was back with Annie and Clarabelle. They were going to the grand opening of the new station. They chuffed along happily together. And when they came to the difficult bend, Thomas slowed down and puffed with care. The difficult bend wasn't difficult anymore. The grand opening was a great success, and the new station looked wonderful. Sir Topham Hatt came to see Thomas. You have saved my new station, he said. You are a very brave and useful engine. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. He was so proud it made his firebox glow.